within Grunenthal, uh, I, I have, uh, let's say, the responsibility of the commercial organization. And uh, of course, you know, my duty is uh, daily to be in touch with uh, the real world. And this is uh, the market, this is the healthcare professionals, and where possible, the patients. So my duty is to ensure that within the company, we import what are the real experiences in the countries to ensure that whenever we try to here to develop a new drug or a new service or a new activity, we provide something that is really relevant to the, to the patients. So my personal commitment into, the, into this field is to ensure that here in the company we know the truth rather than going for speculation uh, coming from uh, internal brainstormings. We try as much as we can to include uh, patients in this kind of process of uh, info gathering. When we talk about uh, pain, as I said, is not a traditional disease and therefore the implications are very different. And so the patients are of course the most relevant part because at the end they are the ones benefiting from our activities and our products. But uh, what is definitely needed in Europe is uh, to engage more other stakeholders as well. And uh, we use a lot the patient association to get uh, valuable inputs, but we definitely need to engage politicians, uh, let's say health authorities, uh, professionals, because this is where they can ensure that what we modestly, as a pharmaceutical company, we provide in terms of products and services really reach, uh, reaches uh, the patients. And uh, I, I can give you one example. There are, within Europe, there are countries where uh, the consumption of pain products uh, aiming to improve the quality of the lives uh, of the patients is uh, incredibly high and uh, there is a country next to this one where the consumption is uh, close to nothing and uh, there is a mistreatment, there is an abuse of products uh, which are not effective to manage pain. So I would say it's really what we call the, the multi-stakeholder challenge. I mean, we need to engage many, many people. I believe that uh, the only solution I see is uh, to bond closely with the patients. Because, you know, at the end of the day, the pharmaceutical companies, of course, are considered the one benefiting from a commercial point of view. And, of course, that's not the ideal way when you want to speak up. But if then you are the one interpreting what is needed at the patient level, then you are in a different position. Societal impact for, for, of pain for us was a wonderful opportunity to put together the stakeholders, stepping back as a pharmaceutical company, working together with the European Association of Healthcare Professionals, but then listening carefully. These people at the same table, uh, let's say, highlighting the issues, highlighting the challenges, and trying to find solutions. The fact that pain has been a part of a European resolution of the uh, European Parliament has been an amazing achievement. And uh, I feel this is what we need to do. And uh, pharmaceutical companies and known do not have to do it. It would be a mistake. We need to engage all the key stakeholders. In my opinion, to be successful, the big difference would be that uh, in every single phase of the development of new drugs, uh, able to hit in the future the market, we should have these checkpoints that we do with the key stakeholders. And the uh, key stakeholders, as I said, are patients, of course. These are the ones in charge of, let's say, the regulation of the system and the payers. So, you know, in engaging all these stakeholders during the development of the product would definitely ease our life and uh, would uh, let's say, position the pharmaceutical companies in a way that when we finally hit the market with a new product, we have all the key stakeholders engaged and we know that the answer is the right one. This is what I strongly believe in. In the last years, we have tried to engage patients and to get their inputs and we did a pretty decent job. But I believe that uh, uh, what is absolutely fundamental now is that uh, the voice of the patients alone is not sufficient. The voice of the pharmaceutical company is not sufficient. We have to find a good balance where through the key, st key stakeholders we are in the position to 
explain that improving the quality of the life of a patient is not just about uh, reducing pain or improving or eliminating a disease, but it's about having higher quality of life, social life. This is what sometimes is not considered. We are in the position where patients uh, take uh, pain products and uh, these pain products, of course, they improve their ability to manage their pain, but they are still patients not able to work they are still patients not able to have a social role uh, in their countries. And this is what is killing me, honestly, because uh, I feel that it's so frustrating to see that uh, so many countries, several countries in Europe, do not take into account that uh, taking the right drug from any company, but the right drug not only helps the patient to manage, for example, pain, but helps the patient to play an important role in the society. And this is where, in my opinion, the biggest challenge we have as companies is not just to develop drugs, not just to develop answers, but to combine many key elements to ensure that the answer is on the society impact and not just on the uh, health of the patient. My dream is in five years from now, in ten years from now, to have a drug that will prove that the patient is happy, healthcare professionals are happy, regulation authorities are happy and payers are happy. Because at the end of the day, sticking to our business priority, patients will be able to work and to have an impact in their society. This is the biggest challenge we have.